Hey guys, uh, I'm back here with the review, and this is my collection for now. And I just got Vul I got Vulture like a week ago, and it's basically a, not a horrible toy, but or action figure. And it's kind of terrible because the wings, it's hard to put it on because if you put it back on, it will just pop off. So I had to poxy glue it. So he's uh, downstairs in my house somewhere. So, yeah. So this is my Electro from Amazing Spider-Man 2. He doesn't have that much articulations. Yes, this is m all of my Marvel action figures. I'm not a big fan of DC. I just like Halo and Marvel. Mostly. Mostly Marvel. But this is Electro. Not the classic. I like the cinematic universe better than comics. But still, I like this uh, figure. It's really good. And it's just I don't like the articulations and how you just if some kids want to play this that you should not get this because it's really bad to play with no articulations it just doesn't have like knee double joint or s stuff the hands don't bend uh, you can take Whoops. You can take off the backpack right here. It's for my. This one is old. I got this when I was uh, in second grade. So yeah, I broke it because I really didn't like it. So yeah. <laughs> All right, going for the next one. Yeah, I have a big box. Now it's Olic. And first, let me show you up close. I, I like this uh, figure. He's my first Marvel Legend 3-inch figure. I got him last year in Christmas. You should get this figure. It's really good for like a Thor stop motion. Like a Thunderstrike stop motion. If you know who he is. So... He's like the same mold as Abomination, like the feet. Uh, the body is just like Rhino, Rhino and Thanos, I guess. No, not Thanos, but Hulk, classic. So yeah, he has like these tombstone things. I don't know. He has a. Uh, I don't know, but. These are really good. I like the metallic silver and the dark green. It goes good. And he does have a Speedo. And uh, he's like a cool figure. So yeah. And I like the paint jobs. Like brown shaded. And the articulations is good. It's just on the back. Mine... Just got broke. So bad luck for me. But you guys, if you get this, I don't think you're going to have bad luck. I think you're going to love this figure. It, you can bend the arm. And that. It's just I can't because I'm holding my phone and all that. So yeah. That's my other guy. That's my other figure. Oh, that's Alexa. And here is Sabretooth. I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna do a collection video part two, like probably in a few, in a month or so. Uh, next week I will do a review of Vulture, but I like the Sabretooth. Uh, when I was uh, younger, when I was like, like a few years ago. 
I traded my Colossus for a Sabretooth. It's because I'm not a big fan of that Colossus. And uh, I, I like this figure because it had like metallic flakes in it. The metallic brown, the metallic orange, and all that. I really like it. So that's number three. And here is Rhino. And uh, it's not the Rhino from Series 4 of Marvel Universe. It's like a, the two-pack uh, Rhino that came with the comic book. I got this like in Christmas like a few years ago. It's a really great action figure. Not that much articulations, but great figure. I like the the mouth when it's like yelling or having a bad expression or something. I like the the armor like scales and all that. I should say that if this had like the same size as the normal one and they make this like uh Olic the mold the same mold as Olic and the same thing as that I think it will be better than the no the one from series 4 So yeah this is Rhino you, you can look at the legs more scales and I like the the paint jobs on the foot or the toes there's like dirt or stuff and this is a really old one and he he does look up and look down but uh, less articulation and like in a lack of stuff but he does have arm articulations so this can wiggle you can't crunch his um back or or the front he can't crunch back or forward but he can bend he does have arm articulations too just not wrist swizzle swivels or that so yeah that's rhino Stay tuned for uh, another one, for part two, and I'll, well, probably I might do a few, because it's like September, so yeah, just stay tuned, so this is number four, I'm gonna do five to eight, probably, I don't know, it just depends, so, Stay tuned. See ya.